God's greatest calling in your life is that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself, and through love, to serve. Authority always provides the power to serve. Matthew 20, Jesus called them, his disciples, to himself and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. It is not this way among you, but whoever wishes to become great among you shall be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Matthew 20, 25 to 28. It's about understanding your purpose. It's about understanding the ministry that God has called you to, that you should fulfill. Don't try and fulfill a ministry that God has given to somebody else. Because you won't have the power to do it. No, so. and you'll only cause confusion, yeah. disruption, and problems. And problems, okay? So, uh, Peter. Peter is the first apostle, right? And, and Peter himself, a, a truly, truly, truly a man of faith, had troubles at times, often had troubles, with the idea of Jesus being subject to the authority of his father. What? He would have preferred many times for Jesus to act, and put quotes around this, normal. Mm. Now, two instances of that come to my mind, all right? In John 13, starting at verse 4, and you'll, you'll know this, right? Mm -hmm. It talks about Jesus got up from supper and laid aside his garments at the Last Supper, right? And taking a towel, he girded himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with a the towel with which he was girded. So he came to Simon Peter, and he said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I do you don't realize now, but you will understand hereafter. Peter said to him, this is Peter talking to Jesus, Never shall you wash my feet. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no part with me. Whoa. So Peter, Simon Peter said to him, oh, Then Lord, wash not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Wash off what? Love that Peter. I'm looking forward to meeting him, I'll tell you what. You see, Peter reacted to the humility of Jesus Christ, knowing that Christ was the Messiah. Right? God has called us to be humble. That has to be coupled with the power he gives us and the authority to use it. Another time, and please think about this. These are all scripture. Every scripture is God-breathed and profitable. Mm -hmm. Think about this. In Matthew 16, I'm going to read from 18 to 23. Mm -hmm. It says, Jesus talking, he says, I also say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not overpower. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth shall have been bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. Then he warned the disciples that they should tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and, he ra and be raised up on the third day. Peter took him aside. Peter takes Jesus aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord. This shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are not setting your mind on God's interests, but man's. You know, why do you think it says in Proverbs 3 that we're not to lean on our own understanding? God's ways are still not our ways. God's ways are still higher than our ways. Mm -hmm.